many of you know, I used to do a vlog all about my flair life when I was traveling around and competing in competitions and going on trips and living this crazy life before kids. But uh, that's, that's been a while. I think the last time I was doing that was back in maybe 08. I think there's 113 of you subscribers out there. I've recently been re-inspired to start vlogging again. I don't know necessarily that my life is as interesting or maybe it's more interesting now. Time will tell. I look to try to do at least one video a week. Hopefully if I get better at this or maybe I get better editing equipment, I can do more. Maybe we maybe I can get up to to one every day. Basically looking at my life as a stay-at-home dad with a working wife who's out making the money for the family and I'm just here at home taking care of the kids and I figure I'll try to film a lot of my day-to-day -day stuff what I have to do I mean this vlog could be full of me cleaning the house and doing dishes or cooking for that matter does it have to stick to strict constructs of, of what I expect it to be or will it become its own uh, its own animal will it be interesting to you I don't know. Will it be interesting to me for that matter? I don't, I have no clue. So, uh, but anyway, hopefully you'll keep tuning in and seeing, I don't know, seeing what it's like to live in our world, my crazy world. Okay, well, let's just see how things unfold. And I forgot to address the huge band-aid on my chin. My in-laws were headed to Sacramento and needed me to take them to the airport for their 5.30 flight. So we left the house at 4.15, which means I got up at 4 a.m. and took a quick shower. Needed to shave. I've been shaving for a very long time, but for some reason it just seemed like I hit a slippery spot on my chin and the razor just went down. And the, the cut is, I mean, there was a, like, chunk of skin in the blades of the razor so bleeding profusely it's uh blood drops on my shirt i probably could change clothes but it's not time to change yet I'm just uh still trying to get the day started so it's uh it's dishes time not a lot of dishes but gotta get it clean Dishes are done. Time to take the boys to Target. I'm Target. Arms up. Hands off. Come here. Arms up. Diaper. Yep. Pants down. Okay, both of you have diapers. To the diaper room. And they're done. All right. Okay. Now it's my turn. I think it's a Star Wars kind of day. To Target!
Well, we're done with Target, but this is how uh, car rides go. Hudson just gets mad at her car seat, and a lot of times she's better once we get moving. So, we gotta get moving. Okay, so, cut to what happens on a lot of days when I'm out running errands. Oh, uh, last scene you saw her crying. The scene, calming her down. Just gotta get her out of her car seat. Bring her down. Calm down. It's alright, baby. It's okay, I know. You just mad at your car seat. It's okay. We're ready. You ready to go? Daddy bounce. You want to bounce? Bouncing is her favorite thing. Oh, does that help? Are you starting to smile? Are you starting to smile? I think she's starting to smile. Are you starting to smile? Are you starting to forget you're mad? Look, can you show everybody your smile? Show them how good you can smile. Let me see it. Let's bounce for smiles. Daddy's legs are getting real strong from bouncing you. She just likes to bounce on my knee. This makes her happy. Huh? Huh? Is that better? Is that better? Sometimes 10, 15 minutes. So, hey, are we better yet? Are you ready to go to the museum? Are you ready to go to Nelson Atkins and look, go look at some art? Huh? What do you say? I think we should. I think she wants to. Do you want to go see some art? What do you think? Oh, what do you think? <laughs> All right. I think we're calm enough to go. Off to Nelson Atkins. You ready? Yeah. Let's go.